Today, I am going to share with you how I decontaminate for reuse my N95 masks. When I go out to the grocery store, which is my once a week outing, fun, right? I wear a mask, uh, N95 mask. And I should throw it out after that use, but I don't because I cannot find any more N95 masks in the market. So I need to be able to reuse them as much as I can because none of the other masks go not even close to the performance of these ones. And I also cannot um, use water, right? Sometimes are no, and so I cannot do that because it will damage them. To disinfect the N95 masks, what I do is this. But before starting with the decontamination process, wear your gloves, your mask, and a pair of goggles or safety glasses. Once I have my protective equipment on, let's start with step number one on how I disinfect my N95 masks. I am going to check every single mask to make sure that the integrity of them hasn't been compromised. Okay, now I am going to share with you what I do on step number two. Step number two is getting the masks that need to be decontaminated inside of the mask decontaminator. To build a mask decontaminator, you're going to need a container big enough to fit all the items that need to be inside of it. In my case, I am using a fish tank. You can also check my other video on how to make a smaller mask decontaminator using homemade items. We are also going to need balloon sticks. And this balloon sticks is um, a package of 20. And they are very long. And they bring this little base here to hold the sticks. These sticks are 20 inches long. As we can see here, we are going to cut these sticks into four pieces with a scissor. And each piece is going to have five inches long. And this little base we are going to use on each one of our sticks. Once we have a bunch of sticks ready, we can proceed to um, put them in the walls, in the inside walls of the fish tank with a hot glue gun. It is important to keep in mind that there has to be a space in between the sticks so the masks are not touching each other. Also, when we are going to do the row in front of the first row of sticks, we want to make sure that every stick, it is not right in front of the other stick, like you're seeing here. We just um, using some spacing between the sticks so they are not one right in front of the other, just putting them in between spaces. Leave space to add this handy device at the bottom of your container. I'll explain later what we use this for. In this side, I am going to place a hanger so I can hang a goggle. The goggles are for me to protect my eyes when I go out. This container has a capacity of 12 regular size masks, like N95, surgical masks, etc., and two goggles. You can see there the masks, they are ready for the contamination. Now we're gonna be opening this box and it contains a Cool Mist Ultrasonic Aroma Diffuser. Here's the diffuser and it has three pieces of tape that I put on the side so I could secure very well this top. And this is the top as you can see. And inside it has a measurement that it tells me how much liquid I can put in. And what we're going to put inside is hydrogen peroxide and we are going to fill it up 
fill that line. It already has some. I'm just going to top it up a little bit. I just close the diffuser and secure the lid with the tape and the three points of contact that you can see there. Okay, so now I plug it in to the extension. The diffuser is inside and it's working perfectly well. As you can see, it is um, throwing some hydrogen peroxide from that little opening that it has at top. On the side, I put this hook and I am putting there a goggle. Because the goggles are uh, stronger and heavier, I need a hanger that can keep up with the weight of the goggles. And I just wanna give you a closer view of the hook that I purchased at the dollar store. It is very convenient, um, but if you don't have access to this type of um, hanger, you can just make your own. And the hat is at the bottom, that one that you see down there, the black and white. And that hat I wore the last time as well that I went outside. Now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna close it with this um, plastic foot wrap that I put on top. And I'm gonna close it tightly so no air comes out of it. It's completely sealed with the wrap, the plastic wrap. As you can see, I am going to let the diffuser work for about four hours. So I just take the time and in four hours I'll come back and turn off the aroma diffuser. It's been like three minutes and I realized that the diffuser has a specific direction and the direction is depending on how you um, put your diffuser. This one is if you can see, it goes from here up to the right. So I wanted to make sure that I could maximize the position of the masks and I changed them around. I changed also the hat and I put the diffuser all the way to the left so it could disseminate all the vapor better. I think it's doing pretty well because I can see the vapors moving on top and then they go down so the air is circulating pretty well and the the foot wrap is working flawlessly which is something i really like this is a view an hour later four hours later this is what we see that's what we have the tank is completely foggy. I am going to unplug the diffuser so it stops working. There we go. I'm going to let the tank rest for today. It is nighttime right now. I'll come back tomorrow, open the windows in this room so there is fresh air coming in and circulating and then I will open this top here which inside is full of the hydrogen peroxide mist so I will see you guys tomorrow I am going to let the masks air for a day um, right inside of the fish tank the same goes for the goggles and the hat. And after everything is done, I like to take the masks out. Bringing the masks outside, it allows them to air themselves and get rid of um, the little bit of smell that the hydrogen peroxide deposit on them. And that way it will be a lot better when I'm ready to use them. Make sure that they air pretty well for, I will say, I wouldn't mind leaving them for like a 12 hours or a day. Make sure that when you leave them out, it's not gonna rain. <laughs> um, 
but I wouldn't leave them out at night time. I just leave them while it's sunny outside and then get them back in at night and the next day come back and bring them outside for another 12 hours. And that is how I disinfect my N95 masks and the other masks as well. If you have masks, they are in fabric like the pink one in here. You can just wash it with soap and water. Thank you for watching. Bye.